It's been such a long time since I looked through our wedding album. You know, it sure is romantic of Mr. Jefferson to take you to the Hotel Marquis tonight. Yeah, and I bought something to guarantee a full evening's romance. You got yourself a new nightie. <laughs> no, I got George some no-dos. <laughs> hey, we you ready yet? <coughs> oh, George, we still have some time. Oh. Lawrence, what are you doing tonight? Oh, I'm going to see this new horror movie, The Monster That Ate New York. It's supposed to have a surprise ending. The ending ain't no surprise. The monster dies. How do you know? Well, if he ate all of New York, he must have had some of your meatloaf. <laughs> uh, George, this is our anniversary. Be nice to Florence. Well, I ain't married to her. <laughs> Thank the Lord for that. Look, Florence, I know you're just jealous. What would you do if you landed a catch like me? Throw you back? <laughs> ah, Mr. Oh. J and Mrs. J, happy anniversary. Thank you, Mr. <laughs> Bentley. I brought you an anniversary present, an old newspaper. Hey, Bentley, look, that's just what I was telling Weezy this morning. You know what I want for my anniversary present? An old newspaper. Thanks. <laughs> well, wonderful. And this one has great sentimental value. Read it. Air Force C-54 crashes into Mount Fuji? <laughs> well, notice the date. You see, this newspaper is from exactly 30 years ago today, the day you were married. Oh, thank you, Mr. Bentley. We'll put this in a very special place. Right. Do we still have the old birdcage? <laughs> now, tell me, Mrs. J, what's your secret for 30 years of happiness with Mr. J? Earplugs. <laughs> Don't believe it, Bentley. The reason we lasted so long is because we really trust each other. That's right. We have no secrets. <laughs> no. Ah, but aren't there any surprises in your marriage? Sure. We're surprised every time we eat Florence's cooking and live. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd better finish packing. Thanks again for the present, Mr. Bentley. Uh, it's the least I could do. <laughs> you got that right. Oh. <laughs> uh, George, when we go to the hotel tonight, would you mind leaving something here? Here what? Your mouth. Uh, why don't you see if Mr. Bentley would like a drink? Oh, thank you, but I can't stay long. Oh, that's too So bad. I'll just have a short one. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Tell me, Mr. J, what do you remember most about your wedding? <laughs> the headache on my wedding night. Mrs. J gave you that excuse? <laughs> no, I had the headache from the bachelor party the night before. Man, was it wild? <laughs> oh, yes, my cousin Felix had a wild one. We scandalized all of London. Oh, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead? Yeah, go ahead, tell me what happened. Oh, well, so first we went into a pub and we played darts uh, left-handed. <laughs> are you serious? Oh, it's hard to believe, isn't it? Then we all trooped over to Hyde Park, and my cousin got up on a soapbox, and he yelled, Forget the Queen! Long live Millicent! <laughs> Millicent was his fiancée. Uh, you sure know how to live life in the fast lane, Bentley. <laughs> uh, I told you it was wild. Mm. What a bunch of madcap zanies. <laughs> how was your stag party, Mr. J? Well, on a scale of 1 to 10, it was a 12. <laughs> <laughs> Here it was, Bentley. The night before my wedding, right? Mm -hmm. And we all drinking. And then these friends of mine wheel in this big cake. I don't have to tell you what was inside the cake. <laughs> oh, of course not. <laughs> what was inside the cake? A girl, Bentley. My old girlfriend before Wheezy, Gloria Fox. And was she a glorious fox? Uh, Mr. Man. J. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny? <laughs> See? <laughs> old Gloria got the holidays mixed up, you know? It was my wedding. And she comes dressed in a birthday suit. <laughs> I, I, think, I think I've heard enough. No, no, you ain't heard half of it yet. <laughs> this Gloria, man, she had two of the biggest... <clears throat> uh, two of the biggest brothers I ever saw. <laughs> 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 